Today we're talking about getting the most out of your fresh flower arrangement and keeping it as long as possible. You always want it to look fresh, just like the day you brought it home or it was delivered to your home by your local florist. Now, one thing that we do at the very beginning is we make sure that we have a large enough vase and we put some flower food in the water. You wanna make sure you have enough room at the bottom of your vase so that it's not overcrowded by all the stems that you're going to put in there. If you have very large stems, you wanna get a little bit bigger vase. Same thing with roses, they drink a lot of water. So you wanna make sure there's plenty of space in that vase for water and that it's not overcrowding. Number one thing you wanna do every two days is you wanna lift up your arrangement and clip the bottoms of the stems here so they can get a fresh, break of that seal and start drinking water again. The number one reason why flowers tend to die quickly is because the bottom of these stems have actually sealed up. This is a common occurrence, especially with those uh, rose arrangements. Roses tend to seal up their bottoms very quickly. So every day, every, day, every two days, you wanna go ahead and clip the bottom of that stem at an angle if you cut it flat, it will sit at the bottom of your vase and it won't be able to suck up as much water. If you cut it at an angle, it'll easily have a stream of water going into that flower. Same thing with other flowers too. You wanna to make sure that you're leaving plenty of room for the amount of flowers that you're going to be, uh, that you have in your vase. So if you're gonna be arranging yourself and you have several flowers or very tall flowers, you wanna make sure you have the appropriate size vase so that they're not competing for that water space in there as well. Keep away from vents and any direct exposure to sunlight. You don't wanna cause any um, heat damage. If it's sitting in the direct sun, it may burn some of the flowers. That's very hot, even in the middle of the winter. Sitting in the direct sun can spoil those flowers pretty quickly. You also wanna keep it away from any heat or air conditioning vents. That will help evaporate the water out of the petals, but also from the vase much faster. So give it some fresh water every couple of days and make sure you're keeping it away from vents or any sun exposure. Finally, if you start to notice any browning or any decay on any of the flowers, go ahead and grab some scissors or some clippers and clip those areas back. The rest of your flowers should continue on. You don't want them to touch any of those brown spots because it could spread to your other flowers. So making sure you keep those pruned and take out any flowers that look like they are finally on their way out. So that's really the best way you can keep your arrangement lasting longer. The main key, of course, is to make sure you're giving them fresh water and a fresh cut every two days and minimizing their exposure to heat and sunlight.